Welcome back to the Taiwan Open of Surfing World Longboard Championship action in the water right now. We're at Jinzung Harbour down in Taidong County, about 500 kilometres south of Taipei, the capital of Taiwan, in the Western Pacific. Plenty of swell in the water as we're seeing some uh, typhoon activity out to sea, Sam. Great. And any words back home to Florida you'd like to say? Um, I just want to thank my parents, thank my mom, my dad, Dave and Chanda. Um, actually, I got us over on uh, the West Coast, Nelson, for just supplying my boards and use on. Just uh, thank you to all my sponsors. Thank you to everyone that's uh, got me here and uh, got me to where I surf now. Great. Well, well done. Keep up the good work. We'll see you in the next round. And back to you guys. When Alf was growing up and got into surfing, he might have had posters of Constable on his wall. It would have been the same for Austin. So, you know, that, you know that's very respectable that Austin really put on a good performance there. As we see Josh Constable, our 2006 World Longboard Champion. Really nice nose ride opening up there and a big sweeping cut back. Back up to the nose. Nice quick five into a close ten there. Moves to the bottom of the wave. Smooth surfing. Is he going to get this face to reopen for him? Perhaps one nose ride. No, he's going to find the wide shoulder and kick out but a good start there for Josh Constable that was smooth surfing we saw two really strong nose rides some good rail maneuvers using all of the board covering all of the way Hozier that he's become so famous for you know he has that upright stance but when he puts it on rail he has that power and I love the flow represented in Josh that's something that he's really famous for is the way he links everything together yeah it looked effortless but it's definitely not and Josh Constable tying together those nose rides. Beautiful longboard champion Josh Constable against Alfonso Peters. And it really is a good heat here as Alf just kicks out. I know his wife will be watching at home. Claire Moniz won a couple back in the day when she was just a young pup as well. The girl they call Sis. All right, here's Josh Constable speaking of, of world champions. Nice kick out Day's Josh gone there. by. <laughs> he knew that that was not worth sticking to. So he's going to get himself through this wave in time doesn't really have to do too much of a mean duck dive there but just going to add to his score yeah, all right well we're getting down towards the halfway mark just over 15 minutes remaining in this one it is josh constable with a 483 and a 233 who is leading here goes alfonso peters currently chasing a 5.99 probably not going to do it with that wave we'll uh get rid of his 0.43 but that's going to be irrelevant in 15 and a half minutes you would imagine we are going to see the ladies in action the ones we just saw on the screen then crystal walsh and co here goes alfonso peters hoping that he can make it into the next day of competition and he's doing so on his back end unfortunately gets a bit discombobulated in the whitewash there and goes down he wanted to say a massive thank you for all his supporters out there who got him here to compete at the World Longboard Championships. As we see now, Josh Constable setting himself up for a beautiful open face right hander. Two steps to the nose, goes for the tight 10 but can't hold the 10. Rearranges his line here, sets up for another nose ride. Four steps to the nose, gets a really good hang 10. Great control on the nose there from Josh Constable from Noosa. A third nose ride section, pedals back to the tail, comes unstuck but good surfing up to that point that's going to be a strong score for Josh Constable our 2006 world longboard champion in the background there maybe some of his teammates supporting him as we see this replay of the nice five look at the way he realigns his line here to set up for four steps to the nose nice five pulls up for a long hang ten that's great nose work pedals back and gets a third nose ride section here Josh Constable in blue from Noosa looking fantastic replacing his lower score there he gets a 4.3 so Josh with those two scores in the four range he consolidates his lead meeting Alfonso Peters from South Africa now needs a 7-2-3 but there's 10 minutes 38 seconds remaining here well, you're never going to sit in one spot for too long if you sit on your board for too long you know that you're halfway back to Tai Dung very true I, I found free surfing here you always have to keep paddling if you're sitting up you're normally out of position but Alfonso Peters with a big powerful off the bottom off the top combination looking so strong there pedals up for the five moves back to the middle of the board love that low bottom turn powerful re-entry very smooth very committed unfortunate that that wave didn't stand up through that second section to allow him to get a nice bit of perch on the nose for a long hang five things yeah, pedal south look at this low bottom turn from alfonso peters textbook stuff there coming hard off the bottom big re-entry if only this wave could have stood up for him it would have allowed him to connect with the nose ride section and maybe 
possibly increase his scoring potential but nevertheless great surfing from the South Africa internationally he represented his country earlier in the year at the RSA World Longboard Championships he represented South Africa in, in the World Longboard Championships for the WSL last year in Papua New Guinea and here in Taiwan as he looks to go for a left but doesn't quite connect with that takeoff but I think that's good strategy for Alfonso to look for those lefts that really could unlock the scoring opportunity to chip away at this first position. Heat 7 we saw Kevin Skvama who uh, is a goofy footer he locked in a couple of scores going left and uh, so that's his tactic and he's sticking to it he doesn't care if he's putting himself in the firing line having to uh, run the gauntlet and get back out after you put yourself in that hole heading left here's josh constable heading right really strong maneuver to get things going throwing his board vertically up into the lip unfortunately can't sign off from that wave on his feet At this stage you'd be thinking he could still just squeeze in two waves but he would love to do it all on the strength of one here goes josh constable looking to get rid of a 4.3 and further extend his lead goes down hard on that tricky section great that hang 10 though that was really unfortunate you could see how he really he committed to that hang 10 it was a really he put it all on the line but just not able to get back quick enough to the tail around here goes josh constable looking to see if he can't just put the exclamation point on a heat win 40 seconds to go flies up and over he's got plenty of speed to burn right now and uh wisely decides to preserve body and board and not attempt to kick to pull into that closeout section 30 seconds to go alfonso peters doesn't look like that wave will be too significant in the final wash up of this heat josh constable is uh putting a bow on his round two performance looking like we'll be seeing him again in round three Alfonso I'm sure his kids, his sons Jet and Jive and his wife Anna, they'll be very proud to see their man Josh Constable having advanced to round three and congratulations Alfonso Peters for really surfing beautifully, you're a wonderful ambassador for surfing and surf culture and I'm sure you'll enjoy hanging around and supporting your teammates but well done Josh Constable, what a wonderful heat that was Chris.